Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zan Ta of Repo Products. This screencast will showcase how to create a custom profile for Mullion usage. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zan Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Revit 2017 in the Recent Files window. I'll click New under Families, scroll down to Profiles, and choose Profile Mullion. We'll click Open, and you'll notice you have some text description to help you understand what you have to work with. You have the center of the mullion, center front and back reference plane, the interior side, the exterior side, and you can, and there's some text description as well. If I head over to say, um, we're in the reference level, let's go ahead and create that custom profile for mullion usage. I'll use the line command, and I'll zoom in here and I'll draw the shape that I want to create. If I create a simple rectangle like this, then that's the profile that's going to be used and it's going to be extruded up for vertical or down for vertical or left and right for horizontal. But if you want to create your own custom one that's a little bit different than a simple rectangle, you just have to sketch what you want. So let's say I do something like this. And then on this side, we do something like this. And we'll delete the line work that we don't need. And so this is our profile sketch. Now, when you're dealing with creating a custom mullion profile, it has to be a single closed loop like this. And you'll also notice that you're not in a sketch mode. You're just drawing it as the overall outline shape. We'll save this as a family. And we'll call it custom profile two and we'll call it mullion and we'll hit save. Now how do we use it in a project? We'll start a new Revit project. Architectural template is fine. We'll start the wall command and head down to the storefront and create a storefront one. Let's look at this in 3D. If I select that storefront wall and go to the type properties you'll see you have vertical and horizontal mullions that you can pick and choose from in a drop down list. So, for example, I can click in here and I can make it a one inch square. If I do just that one, you're going to notice only that one changes, which is here and here. Okay? So, how do we use our own? All we need to do is go back to our custom mullion profile and load it into the project. Once it's in there, we can again head back to our storefront window. Scroll down, click inside here, and look for the one that we want. Now you're going to notice it's not even going to show up. So the trick is as follows. Select that storefront, go to its type properties, and look at the name of the vertical or horizontal mullion that you're using. For example, rectangular mullion. If we go to the family types window and go down to mullions, um, profiles and look for the rectangular mullion profile curtain panel, curtain wall, there it is, curtain wall mullions rectangular mullion. Um, we can go there and um, look at it, hit new type, give it a name custom one, then right click and go to its properties and in here, you now see the profile that's being used. Click inside here and change it to the one that we made because we already loaded it. Now that you've assigned and defined a new custom rectangular mullion profile, you can go back to the storefront, scroll down, and go back inside and change it to the custom one that you made earlier. So we'll do custom one, custom one. For all of them, so you can kind of see what it's going to look like. And now you can see it's being used. So that shape, that funky shape that we created, is nothing more than a profile that's extruding vertically or horizontally to get you that custom mullion that you're working with. And that's it. That's how you create a custom profile for mullion use in a Revit project. Thank you very much for watching.